Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the cooler things you may not have noticed while playing your favourite games. In today's video, we enjoy a sing song while blowing things up in Just Cause 4, we pretend to be the world's most sought after item in Prey, and we try to rob a blind man in Saints Row 2. As always, if you think you know the detail that I'm yet to cover, then the best place to let me know is in the comments section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and if you are enjoying this series, then a like is really appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take another look at Batman Arkham Knight. The Arkham series has appeared a couple of times in this series already. Most notable were Oracle's broken spine that could be seen in Detective Vision or the Joker's hat, which had flashback written on it to let you know that you were in fact watching a flashback. Well, this next detail may explain why at least one of the characters in Arkham Knight looked so different compared to the previous games. After Batman confronts Scarecrow at Ace Chemicals, he is distracted by Barbara Gordon's kidnapping, allowing Scarecrow to escape and lock Batman in the central mixing chamber. It turns out that when Scarecrow escaped, he left something So this is the mask that Scarecrow wore in Arkham Asylum. It's pretty cool that Rocksteady at least acknowledged his redesign by leaving his mask for players to find. Speaking of games that we've covered before, this time it's the excellent Mafia 2. Honestly, it's astounding how well this game holds up, even today. And with the news of a remaster being rumoured recently, hopefully that means even more people will get to experience this great game. The first detail of interest today involves the long arm of the law. If you bump into a policeman, there's a chance that they might do this. Got a problem there? Can I see your ID, sir? Thank you, sir. I mean, ultimately, they never actually arrest you or anything, but it's still really cool. The next detail can be seen during Mission 2, Home Sweet Home. After arriving at Joe's apartment and interrupting his uh, adult time with two ladies, you are told to go and meet Giuseppe. If you hang around, though, Vito will comment on a couple of items in Joe's apartment. Whoa, look at this bed. Hey, hey, oh, hey, I don't know how you did things in the army, but here it's only one man to a bed, all right? What, are you kidding me? After seeing the two broads that just left, I wouldn't touch that thing if you paid me. Hey, why yo? Who's this skinny guy in the picture? <laughs> that was back in 41. Ah, you haven't changed at all. You know, in the face. <laughs> fuck you. The good life will do that to you. The final detail from Mafia 2 can actually be found in the Joe's Adventure DLC. At the very beginning of the DLC, you can do this in the mirror. Don't worry Joe, I'm sure we're all going to leave lockdown looking like you. Well at least I am anyway. So with the Wastelander update for Fallout 76 releasing a couple of weeks ago, I and probably many of you decided to give it another go. The update has definitely made the game feel more alive and, dare I say it, more like an actual Fallout game. It's still pretty early on, but it's a definite improvement over the base game. Anyway, the detail of note from 76 is a bit of a weird one really. When fighting ticks, if they are allowed to bite you, then this will happen. So rather disgustingly, the ticks' bodies will actually fill with your character's blood. Yep, that one made me itch too. So up next is a game that's known for its brilliant easter eggs, not necessarily for its cool details. Just Cause 4 is, you guessed it, the fourth entry in the Just Cause series starring professional stuntman and freedom fighter Rico Rodriguez. It's one of the few games where travelling by cars is probably one of the most boring traversal options you can pick from, but it's a car that we're going to need for this next detail. If you drive through a tunnel while listening to the radio, this will happen. Time, I will be right by your side, pointing out all of the great injustices in our society. Bien? Bien. As long as someone continues to pay us. Do you feel better, Tiago? Si, sí, si, sí, I do. Gracias. So, what do we do now? I'm not entirely sure. 
Normally, we would play an old interview or something, but I don't think those are going to age very well. Can we play some music? So static can be heard on the radio, interfering with the signal. I'm pretty sure I've seen this detail in other games, perhaps GTA 5 or, or Forza Horizon 4, but it's still impressive considering how little you actually drive the cars in this game. The next detail to come from Just Cause 4 is just awesome. If you decide to let loose and just blow stuff up while in a helicopter, there is a chance that this will happen. So Rico starts to hum the Ride of the Valkyries. This is actually a reference to this scene from the 1979 movie Apocalypse Now. So I imagine this next detail would be pretty spooky the first time you saw it. During the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC for Borderlands 3, you get to explore the lodge. Fitting in with the theme of the DLC, the lodge is a pretty creepy place to visit, and heading to the bathroom won't make things any better. Now I admit, I'm not up to date on Borderlands lore, so I'm not sure if this face is meant to be someone we know, or if it's just meant to creep you out. If you know who this is, then please let me know in the comments. So this next clip isn't a detail as such, but it's the ultimate example of pay to win. In Road Redemption, the spiritual successor to Road Rash, there is a mode called PC Master Race. This mode will reward you with higher damage the higher your graphics settings are, and it also give you more nitro the higher your screen resolution is. If you fall below 60 FPS, then your character will start to take damage. I'm not gonna lie, I love this. It's obviously a joke and might be the only time a game was paid to win, but the developers aren't the ones getting paid. So I stumbled upon this next detail on Twitter last week, with several people telling me to check it out. First up though, I would like to give credit to Twitter user Shaping Glass, who was seemingly the first to discover this detail from one of my favourite games. In Prey 2017, you could unlock an ability called Mimic. Mimic allowed you to take the form of an object in the environment to solve puzzles or to simply hide from enemies. If you decide to transform yourself into toilet paper in the Psychotronics area of the map and hop into the toilet, this will happen. So a phantom appears out of nowhere and tries to flush you away. As mentioned earlier, Prey released in 2017 and this was only discovered last week. It makes you think what other details and secrets we may have missed over the years. So this next detail sees you hold a blind man up at gunpoint. Not that he realises. So in Saints Row 2, you could hold up different businesses for some quick cash. Nothing unusual here. Well, if you attempt to rob a store owner who is blind, this will happen. If you got a 20, you got a good time. Yeah, nothing happens because he's blind. He doesn't realise you're holding a gun to his face. I know I shouldn't find this one funny, but come on, it kind of is. So the final detail in today's video is from a game that I think left a few players surprised. On the surface of things, Spec Ops is just another military shooter where you are the good guys who sweep in to save the day. But as you progress through the game's story, it soon becomes clear that isn't necessarily the case. A small hint that everything isn't as it seems can be spotted very early on in the game by looking at your character's eyes. So they sort of have a smashed glass effect. If you've played Spec Ops, you may understand why, or at the very least have an idea, but I'd rather not spoil it for the people that haven't played this game. Just trust me on this one, this is definitely worth a playthrough. So that's it for today's episode. I'd like to thank Pokorny underscore Dave on Twitter for suggesting those Mafia 2 details. Honestly, some of the stuff that you guys find blows my mind, so keep it up. 
If you enjoyed this video, then a like is hugely appreciated. If you're a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing, as that's what this channel is all about. If you think I have missed an Easter egg, secret, or a detail, then be sure to let me know in the comments or on my social media accounts. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.